Alright, hello everybody and welcome back again. Today we have another mod, the X-12 Plasma Caster by Eutherian. And boy, is it a beautiful weapon that we have today. This adds an all new Plasma Caster that can be converted into all kinds of sorts of different weapons at the Weapon Workbench. And well, it features quite a few nifty, unique, well, features. <laughs> Firstly, the flip up sights, as you see whenever you equip and unequip, is very very cool i haven't seen that on any other weapon so far it features custom reloads of course and it also comes with its own mcm menu where you can set up a few hotkeys including toggle fire mode weapon options like laser sights and flashlights an under barrel and the extra features depending on your equipped scope this normally shoots full auto but i can hit my hotkey here and now it is semi-auto, which is very, very cool. And uh, that doesn't seem like a huge deal until you get to some of these other firing modes and then it becomes quite apparent how crazy that is. This mod is currently only available on PC, but hopefully we will see a port to Xbox soon. So when you first load up your game after installing this mod, you'll be prompted with a menu that asks you about level list integration. So you can choose full distribution, which will have it spawn on NPCs, have legendary variants, and also spawn on vendors. You can choose just legendaries and vendors, NPCs and vendors, or NPCs and legendaries, and then NPCs only, legendary only, vendor only, or no distribution at all if that's your thing. For me personally, I'm going to choose NPCs and legendaries. Once selected, it says X-12 will be distributed to the Institute, Brotherhood of Steel, Gunners, and have legendary spawns with a minimum level of 25. When it comes to stats, here's what you can expect for the base version of this weapon. A damage of 48, energy damage of 48, it shoots plasma cartridges, has a fire rate of 33, a range of 203, accuracy of 150, a weight of 4.5 pounds, and a value of 112 caps. In terms of modifications, this mod has a quite a bit of options. For receivers, we have the Mark 1 through Mark 6, which all will just increase your damage as well as weight and value. For magazines, we have standard and improved capacity, which doubles the magazine size. For rail, we have empty cover, and then a wide variety of sights like this red dot, scope, larger scope, and larger scope in an alternate position. You can choose between full auto or semi-auto, but you can also change that with a hotkey on the fly. For the lower rail, you have empty, a cover, and then the overcharge module, which allows you to switch to the secondary fire mode, like overcharged explosive rounds, depending on which barrel you're using. For barrels, you have Carbine, Carbine Improved, which changes the LEDs to blue, as you can see. Splitter and Splitter Improved, Accelerator and Accelerator Improved, Targeting and Targeting Improved. The Carbine shoots regular projectiles. The Splitter splits them, as you expect, and shoots quite like a shotgun. The Accelerator shoots the beam very, very fast and is treated sort of like a sniper rifle. And the Targeting is a smart gun that will lock onto enemies and change their course to hit them even if you're not shooting at them. For stocks, you have the Mark 1 and Mark 2, the Marksman, and the Recoil Compensating, all of which come in folded and unfolded variants. You can choose to have a laser sight in either red or green or off. And then you can have a flashlight off or on as well. Alrighty, let's check out that underbarrel feature that we just attached. <laughs> Shoots out a pretty cool little grenade launcher. When we switch over to the split barrel, you have your regular firing mode, full auto, and the under barrel, which you'll see also splits when you shoot. For the accelerated barrel, you can see the projectiles move much, much faster. And for the underbarrel, fires more of a missile than a grenade. Changing to this barrel has also changed the reticle that we have on our scope. For the targeting barrel, you see that we can lock targets and fire in a completely different direction. When we switch firing modes, you can see that it's full auto. 
And when we switch to our underbarrel, we have a targeting grenade. Using the scope hotkey, you can change the magnification and target acquisition or switch to night vision for any scope on the fly. And I have a pretty good feeling that this gun is going to have no issues tearing through death claws. Just as I suspected. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this one. There are also optional skins that you can download from the mod page. And if you want to check it out for yourself, the link will be in the description as always. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Fallout mod content, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!